Washington investigates the increasing number of deaths along railroads in Illinois. The problem is especially worrisome in Chicago, the busiest rail hub in America. Here's NBC 5's Phil Rogers. A near tragedy from two different views. You see the children on the left running in front of an oncoming metro train, while in the distance, a man watches in horror. But here's the view from another train which is barreling toward him. At the last second, he jumps away. I probably see it at least once or twice a week. In 40 years at the controls, Metro engineer Jeff Klein says he has been a part of way too many collisions. Four or five pedestrians, at least a half a dozen vehicles, two semis. The numbers are getting worse. Pedestrian rail fatality numbers in Illinois are already ahead of all of 2018, and we still have three months to go. What we have is an exposure problem in Illinois. The ICC's Chip Pew notes Illinois has over 7,400 miles of track and over 7,600 crossings, second only to Texas. Plenty of places where too many people put themselves in harm's way. The people know right and wrong. They just don't think that it's going to happen to me. NBC5 investigates obtained Metro near miss logs for the last two and a half years. The 1,300 reports tell frightening stories of repeated close calls, trains thrown into emergency braking as cars drove around gates, children dodged locomotives, even cases of people lying on the tracks. And remember, a train traveling just 55 miles an hour can take a mile to come to a complete stop. There's no way for a train to stop on a dime. That's hundreds and hundreds of tons of train in motion. We saw it firsthand on a recent run of Amtrak's Hiawatha service to Milwaukee. 331, focus, come on up. It didn't take long. Just north of Union Station, a flurry of pedestrians ran across the tracks as our locomotive was building speed. All right, one view in about one minute here, guys. On average, a person dies on the rails here in Illinois every five days. Roughly half of Chicago area pedestrian deaths are suicides. This was a lucky stop. A Waukegan police officer tackling a teenager who tried to hurl herself onto the rails last year. Hey, come here. Come here. But the remaining deaths are split between pedestrian crossings and trespassers. We can be out in the middle of nowhere and somebody will pop up out of the trees. It's a safety problem, which in most cases, only the victims have the power to stop. Just in that small window of guessing wrong and you're not coming home, it's just not worth it. We have much more online, including information on how this little blue sign could save your life. Just go to our website, NBCChicago.com. Phil Rogers, NBC5 Investigates. Our thanks to Phil.